For thousands of years humans have been looking up to the stars. We have always wondered what could be out there. The Hubble is the first optical telescope to be placed in space. Over the years scientists have used Hubble to observe the universe and distant planets. This telescope has sent us some incredible images over the years. The Hubble explores the universe 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's operated by a team of scientists on the ground. Recently this telescope catches something interesting. Observers on the ground had noticed there was a dark spot on Neptune, as well as something large on Uranus. Scientists are aware that Uranus and Neptune are similar to Earth, and that these planets have seasons just like we do on our planet. This is why researchers have recently been seeing large features in the planet's atmosphere. These new photographs show a large dark storm. This isn't uncommon for Neptune, and this is actually the fourth dark vortex captured by Hubble. Researchers have come forward and said that these features don't usually hang around for very long. It's been estimated they appear every three to six years and can fade within a year. This recent weather phenomena was discovered in September of 2018. After observing these photographs that Hubble sent back, it was thought the storm measured a massive 6,800 miles across. That's a storm six times larger than our moon. These giant storms form when a flow of air is disturbed and then gets diverted upwards. The gases then freeze into methane ice crystals. Something that's similar to this is happening on Jupiter. Jupiter's red storm has been swirling around for hundreds of years. We don't know the source of the distinctive red colour, and it still remains a mystery to this day. Some scientists have been doing laboratory experiments in order to produce the same colour. The researchers found that possible temperature and radiation might be playing very important roles in changing the colour of transparent materials found in the clouds. One of the main suspects is the ammonium hydrosulfide. This is a type of salt. This salt seems to be quickly decomposing at specific atmospheric temperatures and conditions on our planet, which makes it really hard to investigate. For those who have never heard of this, ammonium hydrosulfide is the third most abundant cloud component found on Jupiter. It's part of Jupiter's atmosphere, but it does not exist as a gas. Scientists and researchers will continue to keep an eye on these planets, and will give updates when they happen. These images give us an idea of what's going on in our solar system. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.